Hello. Today I thought I would give you a tour of my art collection in my home. I have a few pieces and they are very, very dear to me, so I wanted to share. Okay, this first one is one that I recently discovered up in my dad's attic. <laughs> I must have painted this when I was, oh, many years ago in university. Um, it's acrylic, I remember that. I don't really paint with acrylic anymore. I think I painted this from a photograph. I saw this photograph of these two elderly men and they seemed so sweet and such good friends that I wanted to try and capture it. Looking at it now, I actually think I did a pretty good job and I really like how I chose to do it in black and white. I think that's pretty cool. I really want to sit in with these guys and have coffee. <laughs> Okay, so this next piece uh, sits in my bedroom and it was drawn for me by a very dear friend. Um, he knows how much I love ballet. I've loved ballet since I was a very little girl. And so he surprised me with this drawing that he did. And if you take a look up close, it's actually made up of teeny, teeny little dots that make the shape of a ballerina. And I think it's really beautiful. And if you look closely, you can see different um, shapes within the dots. I think there's a few hearts and stuff like that. So it's really special. I actually have it hung above my bed and I see it every night. Oh, this next one. This is my favorite in my whole house. It's also in my bedroom and it was painted by my grandmother many years ago. I love everything about it. I want to like jump into that painting and walk down that lane. I think it's cheerful and wholesome and lovely and of course it reminds me of my grandmother um, and I will always cherish it because it it gives me this very very happy feeling so pretty she was such a talented artist yeah the colors here are just exactly what you would want on a spring day. And this painting I did myself. So in the past couple years, I've got into watercolor painting, exclusively watercolor. I, I wouldn't say I'm particularly talented, but uh, I really enjoy it. I enjoy the unpredictability of it, and I enjoy the sort of freeform nature. So this is my take on cherry blossoms. I happen to love cherry blossoms. My favorite color is pink and I love cherry trees and, and I just wanted to do something, a symphony in pink, if you will. And I like how it turned out. Okay, I made this one as well. This is embroidery. Uh, I embroidered this heart and if you look up close, the heart is formed with all different flowers. This one took me a while because I'm not actually very good at embroidery. Uh, so every I followed a pattern and every stitch that I had to do, I had to watch a tutorial on how to do it because they're all sort of unique stitches. Some people are really, really good at embroidery. Uh, this was my one and only attempt, but I liked it so much that I framed it. It sits above my kitchen sink. I like the colors. It's interesting to look at when I'm doing the dishes. I probably should do another piece, but I just like this one so much. I haven't felt the inspiration since. Okay, this painting is really special. This was done by someone that I don't actually know, an artist named, I believe his name is Leonard Cohen. He was a friend of my father's many, many years ago, and he is quite a portfolio of paintings. He's a professional painter. And this was a little sketch or study that he did for my dad. And my dad loved it so much that he framed it. And the story goes that uh, Leonard put one bird in to represent my mom and one bird to represent my dad. So I love it for that reason alone. But look at that sky. And this is another painting by my, my grandmother, who I call Nana. She painted exclusively in oils. It, I don't know if you can tell, but that's definitely oils. 
and uh, she lived for many years with my father and her husband, my grandfather, in South America, in Bolivia. So she, a lot of her paintings are from that time in her life, and Bolivia is a special country to me as well for that reason. So here we are looking at those cute llamas. And the mountain range in the back. I think she did a great job on the sky as well. I have this one hung in my hallway. Okay, so this is another watercolor painting that I didn't do. It was done for me by one of my dear, dear friends. She was a prof prolific watercolor painter. Uh, I remember going into her living room and she just had bins and bins of paintings that she'd done during certain periods of her life and from inspiration. And sometimes she would paint professionally, but other times it was just for fun or for friends. And I stumbled across this one and really loved it. And she gave it to me, which was really sweet. I love the free form, the looseness of the flowers and the color choices. And that vase, there's something about the way she did that vase that I really, really like. Okay, and lastly, you've seen everything hanging in my house, but this is my own little portfolio of, let's call them watercolor doodles. So a couple years ago when I was teaching myself to watercolor paint, I was just painting whatever I wanted to and was keeping it to look back on. So make of it what you will. I'm not going to vouch for uh, if they're any good, but they were fun to paint. And I think you can see as we go along a bit of progression. And I like holding on to them. Uh, you'll see a lot of florals because <laughs> I do love flowers. Those orchids I really liked. I think they came out pretty well. Mm, I remember not liking those tulips. I never could find a way. I don't think I ever tried tulips again because I was so unhappy with those. Aha! So now we're back into cherry blossoms. They seem to be a favorite of mine to paint. That's a cherry blossom on the left, and then on the right is an apple blossom. Oh, okay. <laughs> so there's my little self-portrait. Um, I call that my self-portrait because it captures the spirit of me, but actually I don't have short hair, but for some reason I feel like I should when I'm a cartoon. <laughs> hmm, here's me trying to paint a ballerina, one of my favorite, well, my favorite form of dance. And here's my own take on a, on a woman dressed in traditional Bolivian dress in, uh, in the Altiplano of Bolivia, similar to what my grandmother did. Ah, more flowers, orchids. On the left are some free-form roses. I could never quite get the hang of that. More orchids. Really like these. Especially this one. That's my favorite one that I ever did. Of orchids, I mean. More orchids. Ah, and this butterfly. Um, nothing particularly special about the shape, but the color. And there's a cute little one I did for my son. He loves owls. Okay, this dress. I designed this dress. I want to wear that dress. A red dress. Yeah, so pretty. Oh, this one is one of my favorite ones. I actually followed a small tutorial um, from a website or YouTube channel called Let's Make Art. I'll link it below. But I love the sky. Look at that. That's the beauty of watercolor, that you just get this unexpected beauty. And more pink flowers seem to be my thing. I think that's it. Yep. Yeah. So that's all I have in there so far. Every once in a while, I'll add a new painting when the, when the mood strikes me. Thank you so much for watching and for enjoying some of my artwork. I hope that this was interesting, relaxing, um, and a calming moment.
wishing you all the best until my next video.